don't like, Vada Fly gonna recap this and say Gotti caught a 30 on the John Road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy, y'all the game. Time has Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire fly. We used to rap it like that. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, ricegangclothing.com. For the merchandise, you heard me right. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP. Every single one of y'all out there, appreciate y'all watching this content, y'all comments, y'all thoughts, y'all suggestions, and y'all vibes. You know what I'm saying? I've been working like crazy, but I, um, I do retire from work this year altogether, which is a definitely dope thing. But, uh, you know, gotta grind, gotta grind, gotta grind. Um, so we got two things that I want to get with y'all about. First and foremost, y'all seen these cats in Africa rapping? They said I wouldn't last, and they were right. I didn't last, because like having sex with the girl of my dreams, I came first. But when you heard you were battling the genius, you went to shop right looking so serious, all just to buy some bleaching cream. You know why he bought bleaching cream? Because he thought for him to be enlightening, he has to lighten his skin. My nigga, bleaching cream, bleaching soap is something you gotta deal with. Because no matter how many times you turn that skin, if you travel to Yankee, Trump will still deport your ass real quick. Yeah. When they start rapping like that, salute to Nigeria, African battle rap son. These. Yo, they nice, son. They nice, B. Oh, my goodness, yo. African is, um, African battle rap. Actually, I saw Daylight was the one that, uh, who said, when when, when can I get over there? I know he be trolling and stuff like that, but the dude who was rapping, he actually had punchlines. Um, now, back to the conversation, the lecture at hand, um, with the whole small room, big room debate. Uh, Daylight starts off by saying, Y'all making a big deal over the big room versus the small room. Well, let me tell you this. I battled in front of one person. I battled in front of 500 people. I battled in front of 2,500 people. I battled in front of 10,000 people. And one thing I can say is this. Absolutely no difference. If you nice, you nice. Now, that is something that I was saying. Like, if you got bars, it doesn't really matter the size of the crowd and all like crowd reaction is one thing like it does elevate the battle it does make for a bigger spectacle and it is a totally different animal to tackle not everybody could jump in front of two thousand people and just rock a room no but you cannot say a lot of these people are saying it all i mean a lot of this stuff started yesterday from when um when t-top had made his has had tweeted you know what I'm saying? Basically saying that, uh, you know, the, the, the COVID babies from the COVID era, that's how they was built and they wouldn't be able to survive in the era that he came from. You know what I'm saying? But T-Top was a proven ground guy. He went through the tournament and then he built his career up. And now he's doing his thing on them big stages. I did say that I thought a lot of these young guys would be, some of these young guys would, uh, a lot of them will have careers because, you know what I'm saying, they got bars. And the way that the battle rap is set up now, you got the app, you got um, machine pushing certain people and all of that, you know what I'm saying? So even if niggas is nice, it's a little bit different now than it was back in the days where if you lose one battle, we don't even see you no more. Nowadays, some of these niggas lose every f <laughs> Niggas lose every battle and be on the next card. God damn. So, you know, you go gonna have your motherfucking chances. You gonna have your chances. Shit, if you, you gonna be, we gonna see some of you niggas by force or by choice. But anyway, um, DNA and k Sean got together on a live stream yesterday and they were basically saying, yo, we gonna be here from the start of Rookies vs. Vets. I'm taking two, three of these niggas because we need to get them out the way. No talking. You want to just kill these niggas? I mean, yeah, I, I could smoke like four more. I could, I could take like three of them niggas out. That's how I'm feeling. Fuck it, let's just kill these niggas. Fuck it. Homesy. Huh? All right, so, yeah, so, yeah. so, 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 I, I want to battle Homesy. I want to battle Homesy. Let's make it part two. Let's go. Fuck yeah, part two. I want to battle Homesy. I want to battle Fonz. Good said he coming out too. Yeah. Give me all of them. Fonz, yeah, you said you, all right, come on. Fuck it. Give me, let's go. You said you got Fonz, all right, so who left? Nah, I want Holmesy. I'm going to take Holmesy first because he started it. I want Holmesy. I bet. I bet. 
And you, I'm gonna take like I'm gonna take like two or three of them niggas, bro. It just yeah. been on my schedule. I don't want to. Yo, good, like goods, man. goods, good, goods. I'm not saying it because of you, but I know it's your type of battle. You got, you gonna have to take easy. Yeah, talk that real money shit. Yeah, talk yeah, that talk shit. that real money shit. I stated that from when rookies versus vets started, that some of the vets that would be in book were not going to be good enough to get the rookies out of here, and it's not nothing against no vets. I'm definitely not taking no shots at nobody. But the level of competition that y'all are booking them against, in some instances, is not high. I'm just saying, you cannot book, you cannot go book B Magic, you know what I'm saying, and guys of that caliber. I don't have to go down the whole list of names and put them against young, hot, rising, up and comers and think that they're going to get rid of them. They're not going to get rid of them. They're not going to do that. And a lot of them are just showing up for the check. So when they're showing up for the check, they don't care. Like, you got to book people who we see on volumes, who we see on big stages. You got to book them. You can't book great value vets and be like, okay, we'll bring you in, pay you the minimum to get rid of these hot rookies. That's not going to happen. It ain't going to happen because the rookies are showing up. Even in the battles when you did book them against better quality vets like Chilla Jones, Real Six showed up, like Danny Myers. Easy to black captain showed up. Light T top. Easy to black captain showed up. Et cetera, et cetera. Don't let none of that get too far ahead. So when you got better vets showing up, you know, I don't really consider Av like a super vet, but Av has been around for a minute versus Fonz. He showed up. JC, he showed up. You got to book high quality talent. When Rookies vs. Vets started before, it was, um, damn, Charlie Clips battling against a new guy. K Shine battling against Mr. Wavy, DNA battling, you know, Shotgun Shug when he was very highly effective on the big stages battling. Like, you book monsters against these new guys. You can't trim back and then and, and book lesser quality talent and expect them to get the job done against these guys. These guys are not, they're not going out lightly. They are not going out lightly. So, DNA and K Shine had a conversation yesterday, and they they basically said, "Yo, we agree. Give me two. I take two of them. You take two of them. Goods will take one. John John's coming outside. Like we going we coming with the monsters. We about to try to wipe these niggas out of here because they feeling themselves a lot, and rightfully so. They should be feeling themselves because they've earned the right to. The people that they put them in front of ain't took care of the job." So if they ain't took care of the job, why they not gonna feel themselves? You know what I'm saying? Like, they ain't really had no crazy competition that wiped them out. So with that being said, they gonna, they gonna feel how they feel. Uh, I even seen Rock, um, Tay Rock made a comment. He said, uh, he was talking about um, this whole, he said, I had the best battle in the small rooms last year. Don't let that go over your head, my era. I'm gonna keep showing y'all why y'all shouldn't play with me, starting with Aver. He said, man, these niggas ain't shaking the small room. I'm just sitting back listening to the bullshit getting tight. All these niggas playing with my era. And that's the thing. DNA did make a very valid point. A lot of these, that, that's the, I'm not going, we not getting past that. A lot of these niggas is choking and stumbling in the fucking small rooms. Like, we not even going to act like I can name about four or five different battles where niggas is choking and stumbling and stumbling and fumbling in small room era battle. Or... When they get in the vets, they not showing up. You know what I'm saying? There's only a few people that's really, really showing that they could take it to those levels. There's only a few. It ain't every one of you. That, let's not get it twisted. There are some. So you got to kind of like, it's like a division. See, the thing is, the way you are, they trying to drag 20 niggas. It ain't like that. It's about six or seven. About a card worth of cats who could really bring wreck. About a card worth. But other than that, like, the ones at the bottom, ain't nobody checking for the, uh, uh, you know what, nope, not gonna be disrespectful. Um, it's just, it just is what it is, man. Like, the fans, they see it. The fans be in the comments. The fans be letting niggas know, like, some of these battles drop on the app. These guys are losing by so many votes. Like, niggas is losing 1,000 to 100, 200 to 900. That should be a clear depiction of the fact that there's levels between whatever MC it is versus whoever they battled against. Um, what I like to see the real vets from the start 
Hell yeah, I'd like to see the real vets from the start. Book the real vets that's gonna bring real smoke and real competition. And you this could end this could end very easily. K Shine, K Shine, DNA, John John, Goods, Rock. do bring those bring that type of talent from the beginning. Chilla Jones can swing the block again. JC showed he could do it. Bring them. Man, listen. Against just rookies. But if you say new era, new era talent is considered New Jersey twerk. New era talent is considered Geechee Gotti. Rum Nitti is new era talent. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, them are all newer, newer era talent. Like, those are not old, old school. The last four or five years, that's all new era. The older era is the end of the Smack DVD era, the beginning of the URL era. Like, the all of those cats. It's, it's so many ways that you could break it down. But I think that... In order to let the young guys shine, make it like more so rookies versus vets. And um, book vets that aren't great value vets that are not going to just show up for a check and get smoked. You know what I'm saying? Because when you, you bring them niggas, it kind of, it kind of it makes it smoke and mirrors. Because the young dudes shine, yes, but does that mean that it's all inclusive? I don't know. Because once you put them in front of somebody who's really, really with all of that shit, it might be levels in it. But then they showing that they bringing the smoke to even those guys too. Easy the block captain brought it when he battled T-Top. Easy the block captain also brought it when he brought, battled um, Danny Myers and Cortez. He got three of them things. He got three, three, three battles on URL. And to me, I had him beating Cortez. No, I had clearly had him beating Cortez. App had him beating Danny. And I personally, when it comes out and when I see it again, I've seen it on the bootleg and shit. I had him beating T-Top too, so. It, it, it could get really sticky out here. But, um, yeah, the vets is like, they, 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 want, they want in. They, 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 they're like, bring us, bring us to the party early and you ain't gonna have to worry about these niggas. I, I can't say that's gonna happen or not. I dig the rookie's ambition. They should feel the way that they feel because of the way the game's been set up. Uh, it is what it is. But other than that, you already know what it is. Jump in these comments. Let me know what you think. 